Hi, my name's Andy. I write for Original Gravity for the Lowell Sun blogs. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a beer called Amber Road. It's out of Baxter Brewing Company from Lewiston, Maine. Uh, this brewing company is interesting because they do only cans, uh, which is kind of a new thing in craft beer in America. Um, in about February of this year, I started getting uh, pretty big into the craft beer scene that was just doing cans. Uh, I remember my first one was Dale's Pale Ale. Not sure if anyone knows about that. Uh, they are from, uh, that's Oscar Blues Brewery from, I believe, Longmont, Colorado. Uh, they do some amazing things there. Since then, I've been hooked on great canned craft beer. So we're going to take a look at this. Uh, now, Baxter, oh, jeez. <laughs> now, Baxter uh, Brewing Company, I've had a few of their beers already. Um, they make an IPA, a pale ale, um, you know, a few other ones. And uh, they actually had a really, really good summer ale uh, this year. Uh, very dry, kind of uh, almost champagne-y, lemon-ish sort of uh, pale ale, wheat ale kind of combination. Uh, very interesting. So we're going to take a look at this one. Now this is called Amber Road. It says malt accented amber ale with a rich roastiness and a balanced hop flavor that lingers through the finish. This wickedly smooth beer refreshes year round. Uh, it also says it is 5.5% alcohol by volume and it's 35 IBUs. IBUs are international bitterness units. Um, I found that it, it's not always the best way to measure bitterness, but I mean, there's really no great way to do it. So 35 is sort of on the low end. Uh, of the spectrum. It goes basically from 0 to 100 and like past 100 you, you can't really tell. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. So we've got a nice, we've got a nice looking uh, medium amber body. Uh, very dense head so far. Uh, kind of, kind of rocky on top. A uh, little bit of a, little bit of, a um, little bit of clarity, but it's, it's Pretty, it's pretty opaque, honestly, overall. There's not too much, I'm not seeing too much through this beer, uh, which is good. I, if you follow the blog, you'll know that I really like unfiltered beers. I find that filtration removes a lot of the interesting qualities uh, found in yeast um, that make a lot of beer really good. So uh, let's finish this pour here and we'll get going. Do, 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 do. All right, so, all right. Now up front, I'm getting a little bit of caramel malt, you know, slightly toasty grains. And it's a little bit of a floral hop aroma, which is nice, which is, you know, nice. Uh, seems pretty well balanced overall. Let's take a sip here. All right, actually way sweeter than I thought it was going to be. I definitely thought there was going to be more of a, more of a floral and, you know, uh, malty but but paleish malt, um, whereas this is this is nicely deep and uh, a little bit robust. I definitely like the the balance that's going on here. Very very nice. Now as I drink, I'm getting a little bit of lacing so far. Not nothing spectacular, but you know as the head dies down, we'll probably see a little bit more. Uh, you know going on with the lace and lace is typically indicative of um, a solid hop presence in beer. Uh, hops tend to add that stickiness that makes the lacing of the beer stick to the glass. Um, typically with the higher alpha acid hops, and alpha acids are the scientific name for the compound that produces the bitterness known uh, that, are, that hops are usually known for. Um, now, all right, so let's see here. Definitely, definitely caramel. Big, big caramel. Nice pine bitterness, though. I mean, um, it's it's kind of thoughtful. It's got it's got its heart in the right place. I mean, it doesn't. So I've had <laughs> so I've had a lot of ambers, um, and there have been really hoppy ambers. Uh, Trogues uh, Brewery from Pennsylvania does some really good hoppy ambers. Uh, I'm sure I've talked about them on the blog before. Nugget Nectar is one of them. That's the higher uh, ABV one and. Uh, the other one is Hopback Amber, and that's the lower ABV one. They're both hoppier than this, but I do appreciate this for its nice toasted malt aesthetic. It doesn't really have too much of a big hop character, whereas those are really, really pine forward. Um, this is definitely a little more balanced, but I mean, I'm thinking overall, this is a solid beer, a solid canned craft beer. I mean. Uh, Baxter's been doing some interesting things. Apparently, uh, they, they started 
I believe they started last year, 2011, so I believe they've done really, really well for themselves. Uh, I've, I've been seeing them in more places that I've been shopping. Uh, up in Tingsboro at the liquor shop, I see all their stuff. That's actually where I bought a single of this, which was nice. I can just go up there and grab a single if I want to. Uh, Harrington's in Chelmsford, Stocks Baxter Brewing Company's beers. Um, they seem to be really good. They seem to be they seem to be really hitting it off, honestly, on all sorts of styles that they've been trying. Definitely need to bring in the uh, summer beer, because uh, you know before summer ends, I need to bring that in here and, to, and uh, definitely have a taste of that uh, and share it with you because it's it's fantastic. It's very different from anything I've ever had. Uh, you know, continuing on with this, let's see here. What else can we get? No, it's funny because this says 5.5 percent, but I'm I'm actually feeling like it it feels a little higher. But it might be because of the nice deep malt um, that typically brings out kind of a higher alcohol uh, feeling to it. But it is nicely sessionable. Honestly, it's funny because the sessionable typically means beers below 5 percent. But for me, since I'm used to drinking things that are a little higher and used to reviewing things that you know, get into like almost double digits, not almost, but double digits a lot of the time. Uh, I go by anything lower than like six and a half is nice and sessionable. I can drink it, I can drink a couple and, you know, everything will feel good. And, you know, uh, you know, typically, so yeah, wow, it's quite nice. It's not, uh, it's not really out of the ordinary, but it is definitely, it's definitely something to keep an eye on year round amber ale. It's, can't beat that for the price anyway. So thanks for joining me, and hopefully you enjoyed this review. Um, should be more coming up. Uh, please check out my blog, Original Gravity. Uh, it's on blogs.lowellsun.com in the blog section. Thank you. Have a great day.